What's going on guys? Spider here. We got some interesting stuff for you from the World War II multiplayer beta and uh, this actually links back to the campaign. Now last week I think it was a prestigious key found these three Spotify codes or whatever. I guess you scan them with your Spotify app. They were on the maps, on the multiplayer maps, the three that were released last week and uh, they led to these audio files on Spotify and then Yesterday, it looks like, OG X-Rays found another one on Aachen. So we're just going to go through the audio files here. This is a article by Charlie Intel. So I'm going to link you in the description to that. But uh, here is the Intercept Able audio file. So we're going to listen to each of the audio files, and then we're going to talk about uh, what this all means. Attention. Attention. We who are prosperous must break all ties. I repeat, we who are prosperous must break all ties. If you can hear this transmission, répondez s'il vous plaît. The Leopard spot are now in motion. Vive la résistance. All right, so uh, you hear that Morse code at the end of that? That uh, Morse code gets repeated, and it, it's basically a letter. Okay, so we're going to go to Intercept Baker. Dispatch received. Action. Argentin. I breaking all ties. Please advise on operations order. Focus on Tiger's eyes and ears or her stripes. Okay. So now we have that one, and there's another Morse code letter in uh, that intercept. So let's go to Charlie now. All spots should target the stripes. Reports confirm tigers are most susceptible when they are drinking water. All those who are prosperous, break your ties from now until the leopard wakes. We fight together. Pour la main patrie. Pour le monde. Okay, so that was Intercept Charlie. <laughs> okay, it's coming together. I don't know, maybe? Here's uh, Intercept Dog. This is the last one from uh, Aachen. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. The prosperous have broken all ties. No tiger will make it north before the leopard wakes. The spots are on the move. Your prosperous stand 30 kilometers away. All ties severed. We pray for Neptune and await your arrival as Mother Tiger sleeps. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so we've got four audio files. And uh, again, Intercept Dog gave us two letters uh, at the end of that in Morse code. So the letters end up being UWBGH, where where do you think we, we punch in, you know, fi a five-digit code or a five-letter code? Well, the Call of Duty classified site, right? So if we go back, sorry, it was uh, UWBGH. Now, I have already punched this in, but we'll do it again. UWBGH. Okay. And then we... Uh, yeah, it, it goes to Tiger, and then we can go into the site. All right, it's pretty cool. So, you know, there's talk about uh, panthers, leopards, tigers. Uh, what the heck? Hello? Uh, what happened there? Seriously, I want the classified site. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing this live. I apologize. Let's see if we can uh, get in here again. Come on, baby. Give us the goods. Okay. So we've got a new thing that's that's open for us, right? We had the radio intercepts, the Marie's journals, the personnel files, but we have this uh, this item down at the bottom called Prosper. If we click on that, we have these files, and uh, I believe there's also a code here uh, for a yeah first in first to win. I'm not sure if that was done before or not, but uh, well done, soldier. Now claim your calling card, and that would link you to log in and, and you can claim a calling guard in game. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to go to this file, Prosper. We're going to open it up and uh, there we go. So we've got some images over here on the left side. We've got a map with a with this, I don't know, tissue paper overlay on the right hand side. I'm just going back to um, 
uh, Charlie Intel site. Let's just give us a, a, a better picture. So we've got this Panthera Partis, and then we have uh, like an icon over top of a tank, and then this image here, right? So if we actually look up Panthera Partis, what is Panthera Partis? Panthera Partis is actually a leopard. So it's not a panther. It, it's I guess there's this family, and it's a, a panther family. Panthera Partis and a leopard is part of that. Also a tiger is part of that uh, that family. Um, and it's all part of this, I guess, Felidae. Uh, so if we scroll down here, um, the British taxonomist Pocock revised the classification of this genus in 1916 as comprising the species lion, tiger, jaguar, and leopard on the basis of cranial features. So it's referencing leopard. I mean, I know they talked about a, a tiger, at least in that uh, those audio files. And if we look at the logo, I mean, it kind of looks familiar, you know, kind of looks similar to, to this a bit, I guess. Um, that's what, what I'm thinking. Now, if we actually go and search Leopard in World War II, there was this tank that the Germans were developing called the VK-1602 Leopard. So it was a planned German reconnaissance vehicle designed from mid-1941 through January 1943 with a serial production scheduled for April 1943. But the project was abandoned before the first prototype was complete in January of the same year. Uh, so this tank was never came into uh, production. And the prototype, they were building a prototype, but it actually was never completed. Now, if you actually go in and look at the history of the Leopard tank, uh, I believe in, 19, in around 1965, the Germans actually came out with a Leopard 1, and then uh, you know a couple decades later, there's a Leopard 2 tank. So they do have tanks uh, now that are called Leopard 1, Leopard 2, but the original VK-1602 Leopard uh, in World War II was never, you know, never completed in production. So I'm not sure what they're referencing uh, here with the uh, with the Leopard, uh, with Panthera Partis, and it's clearly, you know, this image icon over top a tank. So maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something to having to do with, um, you know, shutting down the building of their prototype. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's all I could find anyway. It was the VK-1602 Leopard. Now, if we look on the right-hand side, so we have this map, and we have, um, you know, a, a mark here down by Le Mans, and then in behind here, this actually says Argentin with an arrow pointing to this circle right here and uh, with another mark here. Now, I was in our Discord last night, and I said, you know, is, is anybody good at graphics and Photoshop? Can we actually move this tissue paper so that it aligns with these markings? And uh, we have an awesome graphics artist who actually is a moderator on our Discord, Lindsay. And she came up with uh, this image. I'll show you. Where the heck is it? Operation Prosper. There it is. Look at that. See what she did? So she actually aligned, aligned the markings. So if we go back to the original... Right. I'm not sure what all these markings are on this on this map, and I'm not sure what it actually tells us. I mean, people were thinking maybe it's like paw prints or something, and uh, there was reference to this stuff in the audio files. But you know, when it aligns, I don't know. I, I don't know if these were actually troop deployments or you know um, enemy deployments, whatever they are. And uh, one of the things that uh, that I thought about afterwards, but it, it does seem to line up with the map pretty well was possibly rotating it 100 degrees or flipping the page and trying it and rotating it 180 degrees. But I don't think, you know, I, I'm not sure what it's going to tell us. Either way, um, looking for Operation Prosper, there was so, no such operation that I could find from World War II that had that name. One thing that I did find, though... Uh-oh, I'll snap. Uh, where was this? Okay, so the only reference to Operation Prosper comes from this book called The Grand Alliance. And it was a, there was a letter from a prime minister to, to the president of the United States at the time. The prime minister at the time was Winston Churchill. And the only reference, you know, he's talking about an attack on the Ger in, um, in Italy, I guess, attacking the Germans in Italy. And he, he said, basically, he stated, should this operation prosper? Like, it's not Operation Prosper. It's like, should this operation be prosperous, then we can continue this advance. So I'm not sure if... That's what it was taken from, taken from, and uh, Sledgehammer just kind of ran with it. Hey, Winston Churchill said this thing, and we're just going to ca call it Operation Prosper. But um, what happened here, if we look at the map, and we look at Le Mans, 
we look at Argentin, and if you do some searches on Argentin, there was actually um, a battle that took place in France uh, where the Allies, um, and it consisted of American forces, there were Canadian forces, obviously the French, the Allies were cutting off the Germans. So, you know, Germany is up here on the right-hand side, sort of not, this is, uh, uh, what is that, Belgium? Belgium is up here. Uh, Switzerland is down here and Germany is up here. So what the plan was, was to cut off because the Germans were being pushed back and they were retreating out of France back towards Germany. Um, the, you know, the, the allies decide, Hey, we're going to create this line and we're going to cut off all the Germans that existed or, or were entrenched in these positions West of this line. They were going to cut them off, uh, from retreating. So what they called, there was a, a bunch of operations. There was Operation Totalized, Operation Tractable, and right here, the Allied Plan. So still expecting Von Kluge to withdraw his forces from the tightening Allied noose in France. Montgomery had for some time, and he was, I think, I believe the Allied General, had for some time been planning a long envelopment by which the British and Canadians would pivot, okay, my, my apologies, it wasn't Americans, but I think they were involved uh, here somewhere, by which the British and Canadians, woohoo! would pivot left from Falaise toward the river sign. Now, Falaise, if you look, this is Argentin here. I believe Falaise is over here. So they were going to come up here, and Argentin was pa uh, part of that. So uh, would pivot left from Falaise toward the river sign while the U.S. Third Army blocked the escape route between the sign and the Loire, trapping all survived German, surviving German forces in western France. Uh, so the Supreme Allied Commander Eisenhower recommended an American proposal for a shorter envelopment at Argentin. Montgomery and Patton had misgivings. If the Allies did not take Argentin, Alencon, and Falaise quickly, many Germans might escape, believing he could always fall back on the original plan if necessary. Montgomery accepted the wishes of Bradley as the man on the spot, and the proposal was adopted. So what happened, they actually went in, and they did cut off, but it took them a little bit more time than they thought. So when they cut them off, there were a lot of Germans... Uh, German troops that did uh, escape. So we have this Operation Tractable. Then we have the encirclement. By August 17th, the encirclement was still incomplete. Uh, the 1st Polish Armored Division, part of the 1st Canadian Army, was divided into three battle groups. Um, and uh, the aftermath, just continuing on here, the Battle of the Falaise Pocket ended the Battle of Normandy with a decisive German defeat. Hitler's involvement had been damaging from the first with his insistence on hopelessly unrealistic counteroffensives, micromanagement of generals, and refusal to countenance withdrawal when his armies were threatened with annihilation. More than 40 German divisions were destroyed during the Battle of Normandy. No exact figures are available, but historians estimate that the battle cost the German forces 450,000 men, of whom 240,000 were killed or wounded. Um, they actually ended up, you know, there was probably about 50,000, I believe, escaped the encirclement. And they actually captured between thirty to 50,000 uh, men. And there was probably about 10,000 or so or more that were killed. And just imagine that scale. I mean, can you imagine that scale today? I mean, 50,000 men. You actually captured 50,000 troops. And, you know, you're imprisoning them? Like, that's insane. That's just the numbers are insane. And this was like a really bloody battle as well. There were fields that were just littered with bodies and it was declared an unsafe zone. And it's just crazy. It, it's, it, you know, it, they actually had to shoot I read here and I, I'm not sure I'm, I can find it again. This is live, but uh, they actually had to shoot some of the bodies when they were cleaning them up and burning them to release gases that, that had built up inside these, these bodies, these dead soldiers is, is pretty crazy. And if we look at here, there's also another uh, warhistoryonline.com link, the forming of the encirclement, Canadian forces move towards Falaise, the Operation Tractable, which we saw, the news titans, right, the last German attempt to break the encirclement, and then uh, just a battle analysis. So I'll link you to that as well, um, so you can take a look at that if you're if you're interested. Uh, but anyways, that that's that's all we have there. I mean. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a campaign mission, probably, where we're going to be involved in in this encirclement of the German troops, uh, trying to keep them west of this line here uh, from, you know, preventing them from escaping to Germany and, uh, you know, pushing them back, you know, pushing them the rest of the way out of France 
uh, back into their own country. Stay in your own country, damn Germans, World War II. But uh, anyways, wanted to bring you guys that. I hope, uh, you know, provides you some information. I hope uh, we're not too far off the mark with uh, kind of our analysis and research here, but it is uh, kind of interesting. And I'm sure uh, once we actually get the campaign, it's, gonna, it's almost, it's just over two months. Uh, is it? What's the date today? Yeah. <laughs> two months and one day, and we'll be able to play. And uh, we'll play through the campaign, and I'm sure this will be one of the missions that we undertake during the campaign. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks to, um, you know, Prestigious Key. Thanks to OGX Rays. Thanks to Charlie Intel. And uh, we'll put some links in the description for you guys to check out. And uh, that's all I got. I'm Spider, and I'm out. <laughs>